Welcome to the first of four reviews that you can expect to catch this month, the month that I am deeming Final Fantasy February. So let us begin with the review of Final Fantasy II. Final Fantasy II was originally released for the Nintendo Famicom in Japan in 1988. Not to be confused with the American release of Final Fantasy II for the Super Nintendo, that is actually Final Fantasy IV. The actual Final Fantasy II didn't see the US until 2002 on the Sony PlayStation as part of the Final Fantasy Origins with Final Fantasy 1. And since then, it has been revamped and re-released for the Game Boy Advance, the Sony PSP, and most recently on Android iOS. So even though we never got the original US release on NES, we have been blessed with many other options to get our Final Fantasy II fix. As for the game, the gameplay is very similar to the original Final Fantasy, with some new mechanics thrown in. Instead of each character having a set job class, the player is able to customize each character to fit how they want to play the game. The customization is based on what action each character takes in battle. Attacking increases attack stats. Casting magic increases magic stats. Getting attacked increases defense stats, etc etc. I think you get the idea, right? I think the biggest difference from Final Fantasy 1 to 2 is the story. There's actually an overall story here with character development along the way. Each character in the party actually has their own dialogue and distinct personality, which does add some flavor to this Sunday. An added mechanic to the story, which actually helps the player figure out the next course of action, is the password system. Learning new passwords as the story goes and asking any NPCs that you can about them yields many important and required pieces of information. All these new mechanics do make for a more enjoyable and complete experience. For my Let's Play, I use the same ROM I used for my Final Fantasy 1 Let's Play, the Dawn of Souls version for the Game Boy Advance. I know I say this a lot, but yes, all my early LPs have the same issues and this one is no exception. I think the best new thing that I tried with this Let's Play was consistent voiceover work for the main characters in the game. I know I kind of started the voices with Final Fantasy 1, but in 2 is when I really tried to pull off some voice acting. Because this was during what I consider my biggest segment of growth, I feel justified in saying that this LP is better overall than my LP of the first Final Fantasy. I should also note that this version contains the bonus Soul of Rebirth storyline that you can do after you beat the game. I said I would play it, but I never got around to it. One day. One day indeed. As I did with the first, I chose my favorite 10 moments from this Let's Play, whether they be a moment from the game that I like or a bit of commentary that was entertaining or funny. Enjoy! Number 10 Once again, we kick off the list with the most essential point in the game. Beating that shit, bruh! Let's shut up. It looks like we won. Hopefully there's not another form, because I don't remember if there is or not. Did we get him? Did we get him? Did we get him? He's disintegrating. That's a good sign. Screen is changing colors. That's also another good sign. Could this be? Might it be? Unbelievable. Defeated by insects like you. Not once, but twice. Who are you? Ah. We're the Fantastic Four. Number nine. Wouldn't it be awesome if what I said right here actually comes true one day? I think it would be. Airships are pretty awesome. I still think in our modern USA, or even just modern world, I don't know why I said USA, in our modern world of Earth, we will go back to airships one day. I know we did Zeppelins and whatnot, but I still think that airships is where the future is, honestly. 
not just spaceships. Yeah, it doesn't know anything about Wild Rose either, but... I'm gonna get off on a tangent here, but I really think that in the future... I know we think like Jetsons and stuff, well, in a sense that is what I mean, but more... I'm thinking more airships where we actually fly on wind, or the use of blimps like fire and oxygen, maybe not oxygen, but some sort of natural gas that we can use to uh, travel around the world because obviously regular fossil fuels are running out. Number 8 Some people just don't know when to stop lying. We were attacked by the dreadnought. They're dead. They're all dead. All of them? Everyone? Even the shopkeepers? Liar, there's still shopkeepers here. What a, what a liar. Number 7 I honestly was afraid to find out what I was going to find when I looked under it. Tell you what, I've been keeping a few things stashed away and I want you to have them. Try feeling around the wall near my bed. Oh god, do I even want to know what's near the wall by his bed? Uh, hopefully it's not what I, what, what I imagine it being. Or it could just be hella treasure. Awesome. Number 6 A man's worst fear, or maybe his most desired fantasy. You decide. What the hell do we have here? We have animals. They're giant beavers. Those don't look like giant beavers to me. Snook shit. They say snook and shit, and I'm pretty sure they all say snook and shit. They all say it. Snooky shit. Uh, snooky shit. Oh, I don't even. Don't even. I don't even want to just stop there. Number five. Gotta appreciate these scenes for what they are. There's only so many of them in the entire game. Cinematics! You can see just exactly how much bigger the Dreadnought is than Sid's airship. Look at that shit. Hella big. Holy shit. Look at that thing. It's like a goddamn... It's a whale eating a minnow. It's freaking ridiculous. No! 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 Yeah, dodge his ass, Sid. Do it. Do it. Da -da. Yeah. Shake and bake. A little bit of shake and bake. A little bit of shake and bake. You can't catch Sid. He's the gingerbread man. Don't you know? Number four. I wish I could start off that magical. Well, now that we have Minwoo, look at awesome Minwoo. Let's go and check out what he's got equipped. Holy crap, look at all that magic. I mean, shit, we got Therion with Kier. Maria with fire, Guy with cure, and Minwu with holy shit, you know what I mean? Look at all those spells. Number three! Why leave him out? He's one of the main characters, man. We're gonna break it down on the dance floor. And see Fre nah, Therion and Maria dancing there. Where's Guy though? He's hella left out. He's not even in the picture. What the fuck? He's been with our party the whole time and he's not even here in the celebration. What the fuck? Is he off talking to beavers or something? Hey man, Layla's just standing there watching. Why doesn't Guy dance with her? She's a woman. God, Guy. He's probably on the other wall just staring across at her like a creep. Number two. How come stuff like this only happens to main protagonists in games, man? Why not me? Why not me? Don't leave Furion alone with her. She might try to seduce him. Uh oh. Come to me, Virion. Come to me. Oh. Her voice changed all of a sudden. What happened? Your, your Highness, uh, uh. You shouldn't be showing me that. Why are you just standing there? Don't enjoy being teased? What? Okay, well, at least, that, at least I could have done was read it right. Oh, um, my God. don't get nervous now. Don't blow your stack. Number one. Again, like I did with Final Fantasy 1, my number one thing for this game is the one thing that I edited in myself. Check it out. <sighs> I will miss you, Minwoo. I will miss you. Joseph! Shit. Not Joseph. And I was just getting used to him, too. Oh, 
looks like the king is no more. Your Majesty! Oh no, don't talk like that. Minwoo, no! Do not grieve! These... These was my destiny. Minwoo? No. Not Minwoo. Sid? Sid? No! Hold on, don't tell me no. No, he, he, he said land, don't tell me he's gonna... Ricard, no! No, not Ricard. No, Ricard, no, come back! I know in the last review I was abrupt, and I was quick to put Final Fantasy 1 on the top of the list, but now that we have something to compare it to, we can make comparisons! First of all, keep in mind that this list is my opinion and I'm making this a list of my favorites, not which game is honestly the best. With that said, where does Final Fantasy 2 fall on the list? It slides in just after the original at number 2. Hey, fuck you G! What did you say, bro? How could this be? Well, even though Final Fantasy 2 is clearly the better game in basically all aspects because it essentially improved everything about its predecessor, personally, I think I still enjoy playing the first game more. It's just more nostalgic for me since I had actually been a witness to it on the original NES. And for some reason, just knowing that it's the OG makes me like it more. In all honesty, I think it has to do with my love for the job system. I know you can't really change jobs during a playthrough, but still. Just that ability to pick your character's job from the beginning is just cool to me. So there you go. Personal reasons. As usual, I want to thank you all for taking a gander at my review, and I will see you when I review Final Fantasy 3. Peace!